with me. <sighs> Let's learn to help on the way. Help on the way. What is up and welcome to another episode of The Play Dead. As always, I'm Davey. Hey, welcome to another one and another one and another one. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by old Fred Instruments and the SB500. Go check out fredinstruments.com to see what he's got. To. Best, be, best gosh darn Travis Bean tribute there is out there. You know what I'm saying? Also brought to you by me and the Golden Road Guitar Course. It's, you know, it's the holidays. So why not, you know, treat yourself, treat somebody you know, or, you know, just buy it. Buy the Golden Road Guitar Course. 130 bucks, baby, you got it. Also, merch. This is a St. Owsley by Christoph Marshall. There's a picture of it right there. But it's a really nice, really nice, good quality. Go check that out at realbird.company.site. In the spirit of the holidays, I figured I'd give you guys a nice present. I think last year we did Terrapin around this time, and this year we're doing the the, the other big sandwich. We're doing Help Slip Franklin, right? So what we're going to do this week, we are learning Help on the Way. So I'm going to try to make it as digestible as possible. We're turning this into three videos, so it's not like the most overwhelming thing you've ever dealt with. Right, so that's what we're going to do today, and it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be pretty easy, so help on the way is not the hardest thing in the world. There's a couple little lines you got to learn, uh, but other than that, it's not going to be that difficult. The song was written by Jed Garcia Robert Hanna for the 1975 album Blues for Allah, right? That might be a problematic title today, but like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's Blues for God. You know what I'm saying? It's like David singing the song for the Lord. You know what I'm saying? It's that same kind of thing. I don't care, but it is what it is, okay? Um, it was played a ton, and it was always, it was never not played with Slipknot. Uh, sometimes they wouldn't go into Franklin's, but that was also kind of rare. So a lot of the times, it's always that threesome, that that help slip Frank. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're going to handle it the way we're going to handle it. This is what it looks like, okay? So you've just basically got, you've got your intro, you've got your verses, you've got the little lick that go in between everything so you're gonna have to take your time on that okay you're gonna have to fucking practice i'm sorry don't be a whiny little bitch you gotta practice okay i can only do so much for you i can't just like put it in your brain so you have to make these little guys work for it you know what i'm saying uh so you've got that you've got your verse your licks uh and then you've got your chorus and now I'm also going to show you, I'm going to show you how everything kind of, uh, kind of gets dissected up because after the first verse, uh, the, the lick inverts. So you're basically doing three of the verse progressions, but you're changing the lick, the way the lick goes at the end of each one. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that more once we get into it. I'm not trying to overwhelm you immediately, but there's a bit here. Okay. But this still shouldn't be that bad. So would you like to get into the intro? Like to get into the intro a little bit? Okay, let's go. What is up? You have a Janiya Doubt Fire here. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what your your intro looks like. It's pretty easy. It's just F minor. So listen, and we will. Okay. Whip crack. All right, guys. So, how we're going to start is we're going to start on an F minor. I like to do this one up here. Your A minor shaped F minor, right? I say that because, you know, you got your A minor down here. You're just shifting that same shape up to here. So this is your F minor, F major, F minor, right? And we're going to start by hitting that three times. So it'll be one, two, three, right? Not bad. Pretty simple. And that's just kind of like you hear it in your head, right? So you've got one, two, three, and then you can kind of let it slide down to get that nice throaty slide. Um, and you're going to do that four times, okay? So you're going to do bow, 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 to scat, 
do scat. Ba -da -bow. Do scat. Do scat. Ba -ba -da -bow. Do scat. A do scat ape. All right, and that's your first little line that you're going to need to learn, okay? So that first little line, all you're doing there is you're doing a 6 to 8 on the A string, and then you're doing a 6 on the D string and a 5 on the G string. Okay? Then you're going to go 8, 5 on the D string, and then you're going to go 6, 8 on the A. Just low. And what you're actually doing is you're tracing the Bob minor of, of F sharp minor. Or F minor. My bad. My bad. Don't worry about it. So you're basically doing the Bob minor, and you've got that, that root that your pinky's on is the same as that root. Okay, so... And then that's going to lead us right into our verse. But remember, like, you're using that line throughout basically this whole section of the song, right? So that intro again. And you can also do this thing where you'll just kind of like come up and comp. You can do that slide from six to eight on the A. You can do that kind of thing to kind of fill that space if you don't really want to leave it silent. I mean, if you're playing with a band, other people might be filling that space, or you can't. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to get this in your head, okay? So that's your intro, and um, I'm proud of you. See, it's not that bad. And again, you're just tracing that chord shape. Okay. So now we're gonna move on into our voice, our voices. Okay. So let's go. Paradise waits. On the crest of a wave where angels flame. All right. So our verses. This is what it looks like. Again, there's the two licks, right? They kind of change. And then you've got your, your verse with the licks in it. And then you've got, like, the lick at the end of each little section of words. Um, so listen and we will. Okay? On the crest of a wave of the angels She has her face Like a child she is pure, she is not to play Alright, so how we're going to do it, we're going to come in on that first little lead line that's at the end of the intro Paradise waits then you're basically going to do that same line. So this is the second lick, but all you're doing is you're changing that last that last note. So instead of going up to eight on the A string, you're going to go down to eight on the E string. So right, and that's giving you the root of a C minor, and that's what you're going to want to hit after that. So paradise waits on the crest of a wave over angels in flames. So that's an F sh after the C minor. So on the crest of a wave. And then we're going to hit F minor to E flat. So you're basically just taking, taking that chord off. You're taking these fingers off, and then you're having that E flat right there. Because that's the same thing as an A-shaped E flat. So angels and flames. And now we're going to learn the third lick. And now the third lick, what you can do, you can play it with chords, and it's basically, and it's literally... Sorry, it's not basically. It literally is F minor, E flat, D minor. If you want to do the lick for it. And all that is is three on the A string, and then one, two, three on the D string, and then back to one, and then open on the D string. But see, then you're immediately after that going to come back up and hit that first lick again. The she has no pain Like a child she is pure She is not to blame And so on that second time through You're going to go up 
on that on that last little lead line instead of down. So you're going to go back up to the three. So you're going to do three on the A, one, two, three on the D, and then one, and then back to three. And then we do a little walk up into the chorus. But right now I want to tell you about the the, the, the verse progressions as they change through the song, right? So what's going to happen is that first verse, you're going to start out the, the way we did, but all that really changes is that last lick. We're going to, we're going to, so there's three in the next one. And like, that's the pattern from here on out is there's going to be three, three of those verse type progressions. So um, in the, in the first verse, you go on the crest of a whale down. Has no pain. Like a child, she's pure, she is not to blame. Up, right? We go back up for that one. So when you when you come back into that second one, don't stop to run. Well, she can fly like a lie, she can be outdone. Up. Tell me the cause. Well, I can pay, let me go, tell me love is not lost. Down. Sell everything. Without love, day to day, insanity's king. Up. So basically what you've done is you've added an up to the beginning because there's three now, and the one in the middle goes down. Does that make sense? I hope it does. You can just listen to the song or listen to the backing track and play along or it, but it's like, that's the pattern and it stays that way. Even through the solo, the solo for this part of the song is over that same progression and you're working your way through that because when you come back in right before, right before the solo, what you do is the, um, the crippled but free. I was blind all the time. I was learning to see up. Yeah, and then you're, now you're in the progression for the solo. And you're gonna go down. And then you're gonna go into your chorus part for the, the solo, but then you're gonna come back and then you're gonna do that same kind of thing again, but after one, after one of them, so you'll come back in, and this is still part of the solo, but it's after the chorus part, right? So you're gonna come back in. Up. Help on the way. Well, I know only this I got you today. Now we're back on form. Don't fly away. You see what I'm saying? Like everything now is in threes after that first verse. And I know that that's a lot to explain, but it's very important to get across like the actual, the fucking, the scope of the tune. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to appease the gods and summon some shit. You know what I'm saying? And this is how you do it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the chorus. That's honestly most of the song once we get in, once we get past the chorus. Right, and so this the the chorus progression is a little bit of a something, but it's really not that bad. All right, I'm really proud of you. Mwah. Kiss on the forehead. Mwah. Kiss on the ear. Maybe whisper something in there. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Oh, let me whisper in your ear. <laughs> Let's learn the chorus. Boys for flight, wings spread bright, spring from night into. The All right, family. There's what your chorus looks like, okay? So it's it's not it's not that bad. There's a little bit of there's a little bit of chords, but it's 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 really not that bad once you get into it. We're gonna be working with a little bit of triads, whatever. Not a biggie. So listen and we will. Boys will fly. Wings All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with this little walk up. And all you're doing is you're tracing that same F minor, right? That same one we're doing, but you're doing just eight, six, five. You're just walking it straight up. 
And that'll be before every line of this course. Now, you don't have to do it. Jerry didn't always do it, especially live, right? But just on the album version, you're hearing that. And then you're doing a C sharp major seven, right? To an A flat or G sharp, and then a G minor, right? But you can do this all triads, so you can do. You can do it like that, and that's, that's probably the easiest way to do it. So you do. And the way that that C major or C sharp major seven works is you've got your uh, your middle finger on the D string on the sixth fret, you've got your pointer finger on the G string on the fifth fret, and you've got your ring finger on the B string on that on that sixth fret, right? So, and then you're gonna make a, a regular like E shaped like cheated chord. You do it like this, but you can just cheat it. So you can do that's a G sharp or A flat. Right? And then from there, we're going to go to a G minor. So, Okay, and you're going to do that through twice. So you're going to do... I will stay one more day. And now you're going to still do that walk up, but you're going to change the chords, right? So you're going to do that same... And then you're going to start with that A flat. And then you're going to go to the G minor. And then F minor. So... Like I say, and then you're gonna write up here to the C minor. Yeah, so. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do an A flat major seven. And now you can do it right here. Right, and what that is is you've got your pinky on the 6th fret of the D string, you've got your ring finger on the 5th fret of the G string, you've got your middle finger on the B string on that 4th uh, fret, and then you've got your ring finger, or your pointer finger, my bad, I don't remember fingers, um, your pointer finger on the E string, the high E on the 3rd fret. So you basically just have this one like downward angle on all the strings, right? Or you can do that uh, any A flat major seven. You can do it up here too. We're doing that same kind of shape that we did with the C sharp major seven down here, but you're just using your pointer finger to bar that. And so if you were to, you know, you've got your middle finger here on the 12th fret and you've got your pointer finger here barring on that 11th fret that kind of shows you where everything else goes. Right? And then you're back in. Right? Not bad. Not bad. And that's basically it. Um, now, in this next section, I'm going to show you a couple little things before we do the solo. And the solo is literally just over that progression. So it's not going to be that bad. Okay, so I'm going to show you a little bit more of like the the kind of like little nuances, little things you can add in. Now, one thing that I've always noticed is there's like, I think it's Bob that's doing it. He's doing this thing like during the verses. So it'll be like, um, help on the way on that C minor. Well, I don't miss, I got you today. That kind of, and that's just that C minor to that E flat, or you can do an E flat major seven. And that's like that's just a little thing, but it can add a lot, especially if you're doing like the rhythm. Um, right? And then you can always just do uh, for the ending of those, if you're just playing rhythm, you can do that that's F minor to E flat to D minor, and then F minor to E flat to E minor or, or F minor. My bad. Or, and that's just to take place of that lead at the end. It's that same kind of thing. Now, this song isn't as hard as you thought it was going to be, is it? Because that's, that's all of Help on the Way. That's it. And now what you're going to do is you're going to listen to me do that little solo, right? And then what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you, hold on. <laughs> what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you like these little parts for the lead line, okay? So like everything's in F minor for that for the for the the solo, right? I'm not going to teach you everything, 
in that solo because it's fucking ridiculous and you can come up with your own. But just know that you've got this quadrant here of F minor. Right, and you've got this F minor right here. That Bob shape one. And then you've got your A minor shape one. Right, you've got that area and also up here where it starts back over again. Cool. But what I want to show you is the, like for the chorus part of the solo, you do the, right? I want to show you up here. So what you're basically doing is you're going to be on that B string. I like to slide up into it. You're going to be on the B string. So this is on the, what? On the 18th fret of the B string, you're going to, then you're going to go to the 16, so down to the 15. And then back up. And then for this third one, you're going to do um, 16, 15, 13. And then you go up to 20. Hit that twice. And then pull off to that 18. Right? And then go down to that 16. And then I like to drop down when we go into that last little section before help on the way hits. And that's just what I like to do. So listen to me and kind of pick it out, okay? And then I'll see you for the ending. Mwah. Guys, Merry, Happy Christmas Hanukkah Kwanzaa. I hope you're enjoying your present so far. Um, I love you very much. Uh, please like, subscribe, all the stuff you're supposed to do. Leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. Share it around with your friends. Uh, I'm very excited for next week. Next week's going to be rough with your butthole. This week was kind of easy, right? I wanted to, I wanted to make it a little bit easy so we could like, you know, kind of like ease the butthole open before we start like fist blasting it with Slipknot. You know, so I'm just I'm just out here trying to be your buddy. OK, so be my buddy and go to fredinstruments.com. Check out what they got. Order the Golden Road guitar course. Right. You know, do that. Teach you how to play like I do. This is how I play. OK, and you can learn how to do that. It's a video course. It's great. You can also go check out our merch at realbird.company.site and buy some nice, you know, warm winter clothes for these long winter months. Okay, you can also go to patreon.com slash Toby and Davey where we have like so much content on there backlogged to where if you join and you go to the Discord, you've got like your work cut out for you. There's a lot of stuff. We watch movies with you. There's movies in there, full movies that you can watch. I mean, we're watching them with you and talking over them, but they're there. Uh, our, also, our podcast, A Drinking a Joint Too Many is on there. Well, it's an extra podcast. A Drinking a Joint's on the channel, but Too Many's on the podcast or on the Patreon. And it gets rough, rough stuff. We've also got Rock My Soul on there where we listen to a Grateful Dead song all the way through and then break down what the lyrics mean to us. And also a show called Hot Shit, which is like a game show where we rate and review new music videos and give them like a score and stuff like that. So it's a lot of fun. You're a lot of fun. I fucking love you. You've been the best. And uh, we'll, see you, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Just remember that like... You don't be a dick. Be nice to people. Be cool. Oh, you don't you don't have to be like the best dude in the world, but you just don't have to be you don't got to be like that. You know what I'm saying? So get out there and be cool and be kind and I love you. Mwah.